Hi everyone, my name is Victor and I am one of the authors of Technique.com. Today we're going to continue with our course and we're going to be looking at how to configure NFS on Red Hat 8 system. NFS, which is an acronym for Network File System, is a distributed file system protocol and NFS is server client based where the NFS server will be configured and clients can access files on the server over a network just as if they were on the on, on the server. Alright, so um, NFS is one of the file system standards for network attached storage, NAS, and it can be used as a storage solution. So um, for example, if you're looking for um, if you don't want to spend much on the storage solution, you can use NFS. And of course, too, you wouldn't be able to do much um, on, on storage when you're using NFS. All right. Clients can always access and update the NFS shared files depending on the permission given on the files. So in this lesson, we're going to configure NFS with two systems. One will be the NFS server and one will be the NFS client. And the NFS client will be able to access the the NFS server, all right? So um, quick one, if you're going to be writing the Irish CSA 8 exam or the LFCS exam or the Suze Linux exam, you can just, you can look at my uh, my cursor. You can just click on this Irish CSA 8 exam practice questions to practice before you write the exams. Um, we have few questions there and uh, we have over 100 questions that we're going to be updating it with. So from time to time, we're going to be updating it. And at the end of every of our articles, we also have the Irish CSA 8 exam practice questions pertaining to that pertaining to that topic. So you can always um, click to, all right, and um, practice, okay? And I'm going to be dropping the link to the website in the description section below so that you can easily navigate if you want to. All right, so this is going to be the NFS server. So um, we're going to set this up as the server. And the first step to take is to install the NFS utility. And to do that, we're going to use the command yum install NFS utils. All right. So you can see that the package is already installed. I already have it installed here on the system. All right. So if yes is not installed, it's going to install the package. And the next step is to verify the status of the RPC bind. If it is not running, you start it. And if it is running, you just leave it. All right. You can see that RPC bind is running. All right. And then if it is not running, you just start the service. And the next step to take is to start the NFS server service. So to do that, you use the command system CTO start NFS server. All right. So the service is started. You can just um, confirm. All right. So you can see that the service is active and it is running. All right. So um, if you're using a Red Hat 7 system to start the NFS service, you use the command system, systemctl start NFS. All right. So um, I'm using a Red Hat 8 system. Okay. So the next thing to do is to create the NFS shared directory. In this case, the NFS shared directory that I want to create is software download. All right. So you can choose to use an existing directory depending on the directory you want to share. So in this case, I want to create a new directory. I'm not sharing an existing directory. And to do that, I'm going to make that directory. So I can just use the command make directory. And I'm going to call the directory software download. All right, now I have the software download directory. So the next step is to ed edit the etc export configuration file, all right, which I'm going to do. And I'm going to add the existing the client IP in the file. So let me bring up the client. So here's the client and I'm just going to get the IP. So the IP is 192.168.170.171. All right. So I'm just going to add it here in the export file. All 
all right so um like i said i'm going to be dropping the link to the website in the description section below all right so you can just um i'm just going to copy and paste it here um what i'm going to be adding here all right oops sorry that's the client so this is the server okay So I'm using this um, read write option, sync option, um, no root squash. So if you've gone through the RHCSA 8 course in one of the lessons we learned about, um, we learned about um, FS tab file and the parameters that we can, we can have in the FS tab file. So um, we've thought, yeah, so we've thought about that. All right. So and I'm, go I'm just going to save this file. Okay. And then I'm going to restart the NFS server. Restart NFS server. I'm also going to restart the RPC bind. All right. So I'm uh, I'm going to allow the NFS services in the firewall rule. All right. So because if the client wants to access the server and the service of the port is not allowed in the firewall rule all right it will not you will not be able to access the um server so i know that in one of our lessons two our previous lessons we've talked about firewall we explained everything about firewall so if you don't really understand how firewall works in linux you can just go through that course and learn about firewall in linux so i'm just going to copy and paste this from the site as well all right Okay, if my firewall is not running, I need to make sure that it is running. I'm sure I must have stopped it while I was doing some configurations. All right, so I'm just going to add the firewall rule. So that's a success, and I'm just going to reload the firewall as well. All right, so now we're done with the NFS server configuration. So let's um, set up the client. On the client, I'm also going to install the NFS utility. All right. So I already have it installed. All right. If yours is not installed, it's going to be installed. So the next thing to do is to check the RPC bind status. Oops, bind okay so you can see that rpc bind is running okay so the next thing to do is to verify the nfs shared directory from the server all right so we're going to see if it is um, available on the client or not and to do that we're going to use the command show mount i think e um the name of the ip of the server and of course if you're using fqdn you can use the fqdn name all right, so let me just bring up the IP of the server. So the server's IP is um, 192.168.170.173. All right. three. Okay, so you can see the export list here, which is a um, software download, all right, from dot one seventy three. So you can see that the client can access the server and the shared directory can be seen, all right. So I'm going to create a mount point for the NFS share, right? I can call the mount point anything I wish. So I can just still call this mount point software download. All right. So let's let's just call this software download. Okay. So the file already exists, anyways. So what I'm going to do next is to mount the NFS shared directory. And to do that, I'm going to use this command. All right. So I've just copied it from the website as well. You can do that too. So I'm going to use the 173. So I'm saying that. Uh, mount this NFS shared directory all right from this NFS server on the path software download 
and also mount it on the NFS client on software download. So whatever um, directory you create here or the mount point you create here, be it um, Victor or Technid, you're going to be mounting it here. So I have created software download, all right, and that's why we're going to be mounting it on software download. So let's confirm if it is mounted. So you can see that the um, directory is mounted. So the directory from the server here is mounted on the client. So which means that whatever thing I want to do on the um, server, I already have it mounted here and I can always access the NFS shared directory from the server, all right? So whatever thing I'm doing on this directory, I'm just doing it. It's on the server, but I'm just doing it here on the client as if I am on the server. All right. So um, what we can do as well is to make the mount points persistent across reboot. And to do that, we're going to be editing the fstab file. All right. So we're just going to do this. I'm going to edit the fstab file and I'm going to add this parameter in the fstab file. Oops, so um, I already have one here. Okay, uh, I must have done this while I was preparing the article on the website. All right, so um, this is one here. So this is the parameter that you're going to add, all right, which is the um, IP, the server's IP, 173, all right. Then software download and all these um, parameters. So like I've told you, we've, we've learned about all of these parameters that I can add in the FSTAB file when we talked about storage management in the course of this study. And that should be one of our previous video in the average, average CSA 8 course. All right. So I'm just going to save this. I'm going to do mount iPhone A. So which means that when this system reboots, all right, this mount point will be persistent. Okay, so um, that's how you're going to, that's how to set up NFS services on Linux, whether that's its system or sent or sent OS its system, all right? So thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel. Bye for now.